Ever since this guy joined one championship, he's been destroying every Filipino fighter that's come his way. Kumusta? Magandang araw. And for all you Cebuanos watching, maayang adlaw. Now I'm a big fan of the Filipino fighters in one championship. But ever since this guy joined one, all four of this Mongolian's wins have been against Filipino fighters, and some very good ones too. So who is this guy, and why does he keep destroying Filipino fighters? And most importantly, what can be done about it? Who from the Philippines can beat him? Stick around because at the end of this video, I'm going to reveal the Filipino fighter in one that can beat this guy and get revenge for his countrymen. So Hank Orgo keeps defeating fighters from the Philippines. Why is that? In his first fight in one championship, Hank Orgo fought Adonis Sevelino from Team Lakai. In this first match, Orgo showed that he had both boxing and wrestling skills. He was able to dominate the second and third round, and it became very clear that he had the stamina to go to war against Adonis. After that fight, it was Mongolia 1, Philippines 0. Next up was a buzzer beater of a fight that went to the very last second of the first round. The Philippines sent Rocky Bakhtol to face the Mongolian. In this fight, Batarko used the same strategy of box, clinch, push his opponent up against the ropes or in the corner, then get him to the ground and land powerful strikes. Rocky Bakhtol took a lot of damage, but it just wasn't enough, and at the end, all he could do was cover up and let the Mongolian throw fists down on him. And the referee called it a knockout. By August of 2023, Mongolia was up two. The Philippines had nothing to show for it. So Team Lakai sent their young rising star, Janlo Mark Sangyo, who is the son of Mark Sangyo, the head of Team Lakai and the founder. Going into the match, Sangyo Sangyo had an undefeated record with three finishes in one, all by submission. He was also just 21 years of age. In round one, Sangyo did very well. He was able to land powerful strikes against the Mongolian with both legs and his fists. However, in round two, Orgo was able to land a standing elbow that clearly rocked Sangyo. The Mongolian was able to take Sangyo to the ground and after some work was able to secure the Kimura and force John Lo to tap. By this time, Ank Orgo had made himself enemy number one in the Philippines, having defeated three in a row. When asked about it, he said this. Uh, then, in August 2024, at one fight night, Brooks vs. Balar, a year after defeating John Lo Mark Sangio, the Mongolian was set to fight the newly contracted Carlo Bumina Ong also of Team Lakai, and like John Lo at the time, undefeated. Bumina Ang was 6-0 when he faced the Mongolian. Many people, including myself, believed the Philippines had finally found a fighter who could defeat this very tough Mongolian. While round one looked good for Bumina Ang, it was clear in rounds two and three that the Mongolian's usual tactics of striking up against the ropes and in the corner, then out wrestling his opponents and getting them to the ground, was going to secure him another victory. And in the very final seconds of round three, Batarku was able to win with a technical submission via an arm triangle choke. In the overall scorecard, it became Ank Orgo Batarku 4, the Philippines still at zero. So, who from the Philippines can beat this Mongolian beast? There is one guy, and let me give you some stats on him before I give you his name. This man has 16 wins and just three losses, with five knockouts and two submissions. He is 29 years old. He is the number two ranked bantamweight contender in one championship. And you're probably starting to guess who this is by now. But if you need a final hint, he goes by the nickname, The Sniper. Yes, he is Stefan Lohman. And I made a video a while back where I talked about some of my favorite MMA fighters from the Philippines. You can check it out here. Stefan Lohman was definitely in that video. I truly believe that if any bantamweight from the Philippines can beat Batarku, it's going to be Stefan Lohman. So why? Lohman is an excellent striker and wrestler. And very importantly, he's got stamina and endurance to go a full three rounds and even a full five rounds, though he hasn't been tested that yet in one. Remember that Stefan Lohman fought the very good John Lineker, hands of stone John Lineker, the, the guy who throws very hard punches, a very tough fighter on the feet and on the ground. Stefan Lohman was able to go three rounds with him. The only reason Lohman didn't win that match against Lineker is that he just didn't do enough. It's not that he got out fought, out punched, or out wrestled. He just didn't do enough to defend, didn't do enough to attack. And if you're curious, Ank Orgo Batarku has been beaten before. He was TKO'd in the second round against Artem Belak, 
so he can be beaten, but Loman's got to take a different but similar approach to what Belloc did. I think he needs to use fancy footwork to evade Batarku. I want to see him come in and out with punches and kicks, circle him, circle to his weak side. If you go back and rewatch the match where John Lo marked Sangyo faced Batarku, in round one, Sangyo was doing very well. He was throwing kicks, he was throwing punches, he got Batarku to the ground, he rocked him. So Batarku, I'm not saying the guy's got a weak chin because he's got a very strong chin, but he can be knocked out. If you strike him right, he can fall to the ground and that's where you need to pounce, not hesitate at all, and just go for it. And I want to see Stefan Lohman do that if he faces Batarku. So in summary, I think that a fighter like Stefan Lohman, the sniper, someone with a very cool head, very powerful strikes, strong wrestling background, and stamina is going to stand a very good chance against this Mongolian. But what do you think? Comment down below. Let me know if you think this guy can be beat. Who can beat him? How are they going to do that? And if you think the Stefan Lohman versus Ank Orgo Bataku match is one that you want to see. And if you made it this far in the video, you might as well hit the like button and subscribe. Super appreciate it. Salamat. Thank you. And see you next time.